Now, a number of years ago I did a video on putting up a camping tarp which is actually one of the things I most enjoy doing when I go camping is just putting up a tarp. I don't know why for some reason it just makes it more homey for me. Now my goal here is I want to put a tarp up between this tree and this tree and you might notice that they don't have any limbs on them so this could be a problem. Well it used to be a problem. I've since learned that you don't actually have to have a limb but I'm going to show you three different ways of getting the rope high enough in the tree. Um, two of them do not require a limb. Now, this first way I showed you last time, I want to show you again, but notice that I don't have much of a limb. I just have that almost <laughs> a little stump sticking out there of that tree. And of course what we're going to do is just throw the rope up over that. Now you might think that wouldn't be strong enough. Uh, believe me, it is plenty strong because there's actually very little force that's actually going to be down on that limb. The force gets distributed around the tree as we walk the rope around the tree. Any force um, on that limb actually gets distributed out along that tree. And, and notice the friction of the tree will hold that rope just by itself. You don't even have to. Um, tie it. You just just basically put the rope underneath the loop and that's all you have to do. Now here there is no limb so what I'm doing is I'm standing on a chair in this case of course you could use anything you could stand on to get you up a little bit higher. Now the other thing here though is I want to try to get this rope up over the other rope just to keep it from sliding down and I'm gonna use that little tent pole I have there for that purpose. Now I'm just going to keep the tension tight on it so it doesn't slip off of that rope while I stretch the rope out to the other tree. Now the other tree what I've done is I actually tied a limb onto the other tree that has a fork up at the top. It's a little hard to see there. I'll highlight it for you. Uh, but it's essentially the same thing. In other words I've made an artificial limb and again, I can do this because there's not really going to be hardly any force downward on that limb. All the force gets distributed out around the tree. So notice how simple this is to do. All we really did is we just tied a little limb to a great big tree. And that gives us something to throw over. And truth be known, it really doesn't have to be a limb. It could be anything. All you have to do is figure out a way to get the rope up high in the tree. So we have it high in the tree on the right, we have it high in the tree on the left. We're going to put our tarp in between and spread it out roughly wherever we want it to go. And of course we have to keep in mind that as we tighten that rope, it, the tarp is going to come towards the camera some. Now notice I just grabbed some little wire ties, well some people call those plastic ties. That's because I like to fix the tarp to the rope. So we're going to tighten up this end, fix a wire tie on it, and then we are ready to tighten up the tarp. Uh, now notice how we have more tarp on the right than on the left, and that's because the table is more toward the right and isn't exactly underneath the trees. And again, once we wrap this tree a couple times, it's going to be plenty darn um, strong, and, and you'll find it even in nasty winds that will hold up. So here's what our artificial limb looks like on this end. That's a little trick that not many people know about. And of course, you could always tie the ridge rope to the corners of the tarp and make a lean-to that goes all the way to the ground, which makes a really nice windbreak should you have a situation that needs that. So you see, now all you really have to do is just tie it up to whatever you have available. Um, yeah, of course you want a lot of rope and twine in your bag of tricks. Uh, notice here I used a pole and a tent stake. Over here I just tied it to a tree. Sometimes I'll tie it to a bush. I prefer not using poles and stakes as people will tend to trip over that kind of stuff. So there you have a couple new tricks. I hope you uh, find them useful and whatever you do don't let a little rain keep you from going camping. Go camping rain or shine.